thirsty. Let's go to Casey Siegel now. He's joining us live from the event in Garland, Texas. So what's going on, Casey? Hey, Arthel, good to see you. This event is sponsored by a nonprofit group called Sound Vision. They're based out of Chicago. And according to their website, tonight's event is about celebrating the Prophet Muhammad. They say that it is also a fundraiser to help raise money for the Strategic Communication Center that would help uh, lead the effort against what they call Islamophobia, ignorance that all Muslims support violence and terrorism. Now, a spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations tells me with recent events like the attacks in Paris, Muslims face a real stigma around the world. The group hopes that a conference like this will raise awareness that Islam is fundamentally a peaceful religion, and the vast majority of those who practice it clearly do not condone the extremists. 120 Muslim leaders signed on to an open letter to ISIS saying that this is un Islamic, that these actions that you are perpetrating go against the very core of our faith. And I don't think you can say it in any stronger terms than that. Now, this man is tonight's keynote speaker, and that has raised some eyebrows. Siraj Wahaj is an imam from New York. A 1995 letter from federal prosecutors lists him, along with 200 others, as unindicted persons who may be alleged as co-conspirators of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. But he was never charged. Nonetheless, there are quite a few critics of this event, including the National Center for Policy Analysis. At this moment in time, coming after what happened in Paris, France, and of course what happened uh, ensuingly in Belgium, uh, we have to be concerned about the type of incendiary language that is being promulgated here in the United States of America. And now people are also upset that this event is being held at the building behind me, which happens to be owned by the local school district here in Garland, Texas. But the district says that the event was, uh, the space was leased and that they cannot discriminate against groups choosing to rent it out. Uh, protesters expected. We have some gathering across the street. We're going to stay here on top of it, Arthel, and keep you posted. I know you will. Casey, thank you very much. We'll